Hi and welcome to another tip. In this video we're going to look at a feature that Cinema 4D has that allows you to basically create a mesh layer in a Photoshop file that would allow you to easily paint on it in Photoshop or your other painting program of choice. So for this tutorial I'm going to assume that you already have an object that is UV mapped already. We can look at our UV mesh right here and we're going to take this object and create a UV mesh layer that we can paint on in Photoshop and then go back and forth between the two programs. So the first thing I'll do is create a new material. But before I create a texture, let's look at a preference really quick. If I go to my preferences and then go down to Body Paint 3D, you can see my default format is Photoshop. I like working in this format because it supports layers, a lot of the body paint 3D features still work, but you can always open the file in Photoshop if you want to, and you can't do that with a body paint file I don't think. So I have that set as my default, it's going to create new textures using that format. So I have my material here, it's a good idea to give it a name, so let's call it M Texture. And we can basically I think we go to the color channel over here and we say create new texture. So this is going to give us our texture dialog 2048 by 2048. That's fine for the purposes of this example. Let's start with a white canvas, RGB 8 bit color, and it's going to give it M texture color 1 as the file name. So let's just say OK. I just want to get down to painting and I want to apply it to my object and start painting. So if I go to my texture view now, I have a paintbrush selected and I can go over here to mode and go to tool, I can see my brush and I'm just going to paint on it. I need to choose a color though. Forgot where I have my color palette. Let's see if I can just get my color settings real quick. I've been playing with R13 and R14 and I don't have all my layouts yet so I often forget where things are. So we have a little bit of painting that we've done. So what we'll do is hit save and typically it asks me to save textures. This time it didn't. If I say save all, do you want to save changes to all textures? So I'll say yes. So it prompts me for the file format, which is fine. It supports all the features, so I'm just going to say OK. And at this point, it's going to ask me where I would like to save the texture. So I've basically chosen the folder where I have this project, and I'm going to use the default file name. So we can just press Save. So now we have this texture saved. We can go back to our texture view. And there's one simple command that we can use to create this layer. I'm going to make sure that I have a layer manager open for body paint so that we can see that all I have right now is a background layer. And what you can do is you just go up to the layer menu and you say create UV mesh layer. And what it does is it takes your current color and it creates a UV mesh layer. So let's change our color back to something more sensible like black. And we just go layer create UV mesh layer and it creates this this new black layer not sure if you can see it being toggled there and so what we can do is we can save the texture and then switch over to Photoshop and open it up there so once it's open in Photoshop you can see here that we have a UV mesh layer. Now in general I like to set this layer to a difference mode and that way well it's currently black you need to set it to white so I'm just going to invert it and that way you can always see it no matter whether there's white or black under it it's just going to be the opposite color. The only place you get in trouble is when using gray because the difference sort of equates to a similar gray. So now that we have this in Photoshop, we can sort of 
use the tools that we're more comfortable with perhaps and we can create layers so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leverage some of Photoshop's nice soft brushes body paint 3d does a great job of this kind of stuff as well it's really more of a matter of preference and as the background, I'm going to apply a gradient just because I can't really think of anything better to do right now. So let's, let's do a diagonal gradient like that. And then we can save the file, but you need to remember to turn the UV mesh layer off. So now if we save this file, we can go back to Cinema 4D and we can either render the material right here or we can just go to the color channel and say reload image. Now it's going to ask us if we want to throw away the changes and in this case yes I do and it reloads what we painted in Photoshop. If we go back to our viewport we can see that our Photoshop changes are now reflected. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. Uh, this was brought to me by some of my YouTube viewers. Uh, I had one or two individuals who asked me how to do this exact thing. So I hope that I was clear in explaining it and I hope that it helps you out. If there's any other things you're curious about, don't hesitate to shoot me an email or leave me a comment and let me know what you'd like to see. And until next time, see ya.